Hello, so here we are at the Academy of Natural Living and um, today I want to talk a little bit about soil building and soil health and obviously one of the ingredients of um, soil for growing healthy plants is nitrogen content. But rather than applying artificial fertilizers and even getting in lots of manures and lots of different additives for the, for the soil, which you can do, especially if your soil is depleted and it's been farmed and all those types of things or it's just not that rich in itself, um, you can certainly bring those things in. But one of the things you can do is plant those types of plants which help fix nitrogen. So they're the leguminous plants or the plants of the Fabaceae family, the legumes. So, you know, they have nodules on their roots with microorganisms called rhizobia. And those rhizobia actually fix nitrogen from the air because the air is very rich in nitrogen, something like 70% nitrogen or more. And that nitrogen, especially as it's um, percolated with rain down into the soil, but captured by the soil in any case, helps fix nitrogen and the plants then able to uptake that. And that is also released into the soil, especially as the plant drops its leaves and the leguminous pods that it forms, those, that nitrogen is then released into the soil. So other microbes and other plants can make use of it as it decays. So they're a pretty important part of an ecosystem, especially if you're trying to regenerate the soil, regenerate the land, and um, you know, grow lots of great, healthy, food-bearing plants whether they're fruit trees or they're vegetables. So let's have a look around me now to see what John Fielder has done here at the Academy of Natural Living to help achieve that effect. So here I am just kneeling on the sward of grass in one of the orchards. And you can see all these little yellow flowers. Now that is a clover. That is a leguminous clover. And if I go in closely, you can see that is a legume. So this is a legume and it's a nitrogen fixer. Nitrogen fixing plant. Now amongst it, there is another one. I'll just go over here because this is a nice patch. Can you see this here? This is called Mimosa pudica. If I just touch it, there you go. Mimosa pudica, also known as sensitive weed or sensitive plant, is also a leguminous plant. Pudica is actually a Latin word for um, shy or bashful. Now, the Hawaiians use this medicinally. So did the Indians in Ayurveda, I believe. Um, many different cultures, especially the tropical-based cultures, have used this plant medicinally. Apparently it's good for healing the nervous system, and it's said that once the nervous system has been healed, then um, your hair will go back to its original colour, if you've got grey hair. So I haven't tried it personally, but I might. Um, I've got a few grey hairs now, but it apparently it's got a toxic amino acid in there called mimosine, but... You know, and some say that all parts of the plant are toxic, but then others say that it's been used medicinally to great effect, especially when it comes to healing the central nervous system. So, like anything, you've got to try it and see how it sits with you. I have eaten a leaf directly, and I didn't seem to have any effect or anything of my senses telling me that that shouldn't be eaten. But, um, you know, you can use muscle testing and things like that to determine whether or not it's going to be suitable for you. And I have, believe it or not, and I didn't get a negative effect. So we're all different, so that is a choice that you will have to make. So Mimosa pudica, apparently good for healing the central nervous system. And I have heard other things too, um, like for treating blood sugars and, lo and lowering blood sugars. So um, you can use the leaves to make a tea, chop them up and put into some water. So here are some nice lush green ones in here. Yeah, nice. And I found the leaves have quite a nutty flavour. 
Anyway, that's Mimosa pudica. Now this is also a leguminous plant, so it's another nitrogen fixer. And these things grow all over the place. The only downside with Mimosa pudica is if I get in nice and close over here. And you'll see, if I get in nice and close, Here we go. You can see the spines right in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. These spines, if you walk on it, they hurt. So, Mimosa pudica is not one you want to be walking around on. Definitely. It's considered a bit of an invasive weed in some areas. But, um, what else can we find? So this is growing all over the place. Let's see what else we can find. So if you look down here, we can see this is a leguminous vine, and this snakes its way through the orchard, you can see. It snakes its way through the orchard and um, fixes nitrogen as it goes, and it will make its way to a tree and it will start to climb the tree, like you can see right there. And it's making its way up the tree there, fixing nitrogen. Now in a tree like that, it's a dead tree, not too much of a problem. But if it was a live tree, you'd have to look after it because it would smother the tree. So another example of a nitrogen fixing plant. I'm not quite sure what it's called. Delicosa something or other. I'll see if I can find out for you. Okay, here's an example of a leguminous tree. Which is one example. This is called the ice cream bean tree. And there you go. So these are the legume pods called ice cream beans. And you can open them up and they've got a fairy floss like interior. So here's the tree, ice cream bean tree, I'm underneath it, and you can see all those pods hanging off there. There's a couple of pods. Pods hanging off all over the place. Pods on the ground decaying and releasing nitrogen. So. Here's this pod here. Ice cream bean, I open it up and there's like a sweet, slightly stiff fairy floss coating the seeds. There you go. So all the way around the orchard, we have, you know, leguminous ground covers, leguminous vines, and there's leguminous trees, which all fix nitrogen. Um, you might be able to think of some others. The Australian native, the acacia, is also a nitrogen fixer. The carob tree, if everyone knows the carob tree, that's also a nitrogen fixer. It's also a leguminous plant. There are many, many different types of examples. I'm sure you could think of some. But it's good if you have an orchard or if you're wanting to recondition the land, you can sow a crop of legumes. Just sow, sow it across the land and then turn them in or just slash them and let them decay and break down. Have leguminous trees and have these leguminous ground covers um, going across your land and um, helping to fix nitrogen. So that's going to naturally fertilize the land and done in a nice and balanced way like nature does it. And your plants are going to grow up pretty strong and pretty, pretty healthy. It's not going to happen overnight, it's going to take some time, but nature works slowly. There's a great... Um, saying. Now who said it? Was it Arnold Errett? Um, Arnold Errett might have said it. The mills of the gods grind slowly, but they grind exceedingly fine. That means high quality. Okay, so um, I hope that was helpful. A great way to start regenerating the land. Um, yeah, think about how you might want to do it, how, how you might be able to do it. Okay, that's all for now. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.